Hey guys. So, I've had my phone on zero for a while, and it continues to be the most inconsistent, annoying machine I've ever owned. It likes to stop working for no apparent reason, and then after letting it sit for a few days, it'll just start working again. The particular issue I'm showing in this video is as follows. Upon starting a print, the machine should home. With this issue, the machine moves the platen slightly with a grinding noise, and then stops. It just, it just does that. <laughs> Makes a grinding noise and moves up, and then stops. When going into the movement menu, however, the machine homes just fine. So it's not a hardware issue. So the turn... So you see, he's moving up. It's, you know, the steppers are... Steppers are free. I'm gonna home it. As mentioned, I have had this issue before, and the solution has just been to let the machine sit for a few days and then it'll randomly start working again. But that's not really ideal. So in this video, I see if updating the firmware will fix the issue. Uh, spoiler, it does. Okay, so um, we're just going to go to the Anycubic store, um, 3D printers, scroll down, find the float on zero. Scroll all the way down to here, um, and you'll find the Float on Zero firmware, which will take you to this Google Drive. So I'm going to um, download the files from here, and I'll just open it. You need to extract it, um, but what you'll need is to take these two files um, and move them to the root of your USB. So just do that. Um, there's a readme here that has some more instructions, but for this I'm not going to go through it, you can if you want. Um, and then we can go back to the printer. To begin with, select the p underscore vo20.bin file and begin the print. This won't take too long to complete. Once it's complete, go back to the print menu and select the p underscore ui underscore zero two underscore six dot bin file and begin the print. Once that's done, restart the photon. And it should be functional again. Now this did fix my issue, although I can't guarantee anything since it's such a weird and sporadic issue with nothing that I've been able to find consistent between each time it happens. It just does. Anyways, that's all for this video. Uh, hopefully it helped, and links and other useful stuff are in the description. Uh, thanks as always for watching, and hope to see you in another video. Ciao!